from 161st Street here in the Bronx. MLB The Show's got baseball from Yankee Stadium. Tonight it's the first of four between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Two of the game's best bats slug it out back in just a moment. Brett Anderson gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Harold, any thoughts? When I look at this game, I look at one number that just jumped out at me. Over 300. Left-handers are hitting over 300. So if he wants to win this game, he's got to get those left-handers out. That will be where my attention is and see if he's able to execute in this game. Stepping in, John Wiggins. Watches fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Harold Reynolds, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Here's Connor Gillespie. He was headless in yesterday's shutout Third loss, basement. as were many Connor of his teammates. Gillespie. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Wow, a flip to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Here's Brock Holt now. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Slow grounder to first. Wiggins charging in on it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Trying to pick things up where we left off. John Wiggins. John Wiggins. Here's the first pitch to him. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Nobody out, runner on first. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Well, the first two pitches are interesting. Both away from the left-hander. Will he bust him back in and challenge him? It's going to be a good at-bat to watch in there one and two now we are watching him reach back and just challenge it with the fastball now we got a one two count and that's three fastballs in a row here's a swing and a high pop up Shaw is there for it and that's the first out of the inning digging in and looking for more Rusne Castillo and we'll right see what fielder. he can do here with a pair Bruce of runners on base Castillo. and two gone here in the fifth. He's set. Here's the three and two. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Red Sox settle for just the one. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox are out in front four to two. Ready for another shot now. Lead John Wiggins. One for First two with a double play. on his line John thus far. Wiggins. First pitch of the at bat. In the air to center field and deep back at the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Ready once again, John Wiggins. He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. 
And a fastball is in there for strike one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of it depends on the type of pitch. Oh, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center, and I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. So he promptly unloads the bases with that one, his second home run of the game, and it's now 7-4. to four. You've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded, with a power hitter at the plate. The best thing he could do in that situation was to try to keep him from making hard contact. Well, so much for that. He obviously made a mistake. Here's Mookie Betts. How about him? On the night, he's That's two for four problem. with a pair of singles. Mookie Betts. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. It's the Yankees seven, and the Red Sox six. Greg Swihart is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Now catching number 23, Lake. Digging in once again, John Wiggins. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. And some action First now in the Boston bullpen John as a right-hander's up and throwing. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is going to be his fourth hit of the game as it should wind up as extra bases. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. You always want to start an inning off with a bang, and I'd say this qualifies. He gets a fastball and doesn't try to do too much with it. Goes with it to the opposite field. So a big spot Not here in stepping in, baseman. John Wiggins, John as he'll look Wiggins. to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he delivered with runners in scoring position a couple of times in this one. Finished with five RBIs, and that was obviously a huge factor in them claiming the victory here. A close one, nine. Tuesday night baseball now from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight the second of four to begin the week between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Giovanni Gallardo will be on the bump for game two of the series. H.R. what's the word on him. Well, Matt, you talk about incentive when you go into games. He's staring down right now 99 losses in his career. He's looking at number 100. So he doesn't only want to win this game, but he wants to avoid that 100 loss mark in his career. Batting third. So third digging in now, John, John Wiggins, Wiggins watches fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Harold Reynolds, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Well, Matt, I mean the and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Still down three nothing.
settling in now. Pablo Sandoval. For the, Red Sox. the enters play hitting in the 260s hitter, for the year. Pablo Sandoval. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. Time for a look at the project. Ready for another chance. Leading off John the for the Wiggins. Yankees. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. John Wiggins. The pitch. Back to work now is Price as he gets ahead to start the inning. It's strike one. Here's the pitch. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And as that graphic shows us, he currently leads the Yankees in that category. Digging in and looking for more, for Jackie Bradley Jr. Left He'll try to follow up the Jackie double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Trying to pick things up where he left off. off with John the Wiggins. He'll First be the one to lead it off against John David Price here in the inning. Wiggins. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder. Way back and that ball is gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Ready once again, John Wiggins. He's two for three with a home John run and a double. Wiggins. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A high fastball is in there. The win would belong to David Price if the lead holds up. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Shot back up the middle. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Absolutely jump all over that fastball, and it might have been a home run if he had any elevation under it, but it was basically right at the outfielder. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. David Price records the victory his 13th of the year. Junichi Tazawa works two full innings in relief to record the save, his second. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Wednesday night baseball set to come your way from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball and it comes your way next. Corey Pulse gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on MH? Matt, last outing, he couldn't get out of the fourth inning. I mean, he just did, wasn't able to, to do it. So 
if you're wondering, talking with the coaching staff over there and the pitching coach in particular, they just want him to give him some length in the game. If he can get Batting through the fifth third, or sixth inning, they feel like he left. might have a shot John to have a good outing. Wiggins. Stepping into the box, John Wiggins. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Harold Reynolds, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, it's been disappointing. I mean, here we are in the dog days of August, and this shows your colors right now. I mean, it's been... Ready for another chance? Leading John the Yankees. Wiggins. 0 for There's 1 for him left. here in this one. John Wiggins. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. Well, Matt, that's a sixth game. He's got a base hit. Digging in and looking for more. John Wiggins. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Here comes the first pitch. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. So a three-run shot to right center field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Right now, he can't wait to get to the plate against this pitching staff. Four home runs in this series. Bet he wishes he could play these guys every single day. Riding in once again, Pablo Sandoval. He singled his last Pablo time up. Sandoval. Soft liner toward first. Oh, and he misses it. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Right Kirk Neuenheis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Neuenheis. Here's the one and one pitch. Hops this one up. Wiggins on the move. And that retires the side. We'll see Robinson Cano when we come back. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees nine and the Red Sox nothing. Here's Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 2 now thus far in this one. Center fielder. No runs, Mookie four hits, Betts. and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 9-1 to one contest. Ready for another shot now. now John Wiggins. He's two for three with John a home run and a double. Wiggins. And he starts him out with a strike on the oh, outer half. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And this will get all the way out to the 399 sign in Death Valley. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Well, that's the danger of throwing fastballs back to back. The guy measures it. Digging in to try it again. It. John First Wiggins. Baseline. Already a homer John and two doubles Wiggins. to his credit thus far. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. I know a lot of people aren't making the big. Digging in once again, Connor Gillespie. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. 
He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Oh, what a play! In time! Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. Back to Yankee Stadium after this. Ready once again. Up next John the Yankees. Wiggins. First bats with a one. homer and two John doubles to his credit. Wiggins. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen, as you can see there. They're asking a lot of him in this one, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. Boy, and call off the dogs already, as this is down for extra bases. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And the second run will score as well. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is wow. A nine out save that's three full innings you don't see that very often these days it's awfully nice to have a guy in the back of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work 20 to 4 the final tonight the Yanks with their 101st win of the year tops in the division Corey Pulse earns his eighth victory of the season Alex Cobb gave up a whopping nine earned runs in the losing effort Jason Shreve takes the rare three inning save his first of the year so that just about does it for Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak and our crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way on over to the shownation.com. Baseball from the Big Apple. We're at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball is next. Luis Severino the right handed native of the Dominican Republic will be the starter. What do we need to know here H.R. Well, Matt, I, I love watching this guy pitch. I went back, looked at the video of his last game. He pitched into the sixth inning, threw the ball great, had electric stuff when he needed to, pitched out of some tough jams, and pitched well enough to get the W. So I think we'll see First tonight really Rapid. firsthand what kind of pitcher he is. We'll get to see it firsthand. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw to third. And he is in there. That's what happens when you put the ball in play. 3-2 count. You start the runner. He puts the ball in play. Now you're sitting first. Stepping in, John Wiggins. Batting Watch third. is fully in effect first these days as he's potentially John closing in on Wiggins. a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. From the stretch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon, HR. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Yeah, Matt, it's been real interesting. They lost, then they won, then they lost. What do you think is going to happen today? Yeah, they're going to win. That way they split the series. At least that's what they're hoping they're going to do. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. I don't think he should go back there again, but he's got to locate a little bit better if he wants to put him away. This guy's too good a hitter. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about now at the plate, Rusne Castillo is back right in the fielding. starting lineup for Rusne this one after Castillo. sitting out last night's game. Here it comes on nothing and two. Grounded back up the middle. Reyes has it. Here's Castro for one. On to first, not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Digging in for his second at bat, John. Wiggins First, for one for him here John in this one Wiggins now this is lined into left field for a base hit that's the seventh game he's hit in look out 
Digging in and looking for more, John Wiggins. He's one for two in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. A solo shot here to left, number 597 for his great career, as the Yankees have taken a 4-1 to one lead. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Trying to pick things up where he left up off, for the Yankees. John Wiggins. First, he homered one. earlier and is John two for three to this Wiggins. point. First pitch on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at-bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to... There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. Two away now from the magic number 600 as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Six to two, the final total today. The Yankees with a division best 102nd team win. Luis Severino wins for a league high 19th time this year. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.